Welcome back, it's Nick at Max HP. Today I'm here with Ashton and we are looking at his Ford Fiesta ST, quite possibly the most underrated performance car. So I know stock, they don't have very much power. Factory, they only have about 160 wheel horsepower and this one is 360, so 200 more horsepower. 360 to the wheels? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's pretty wild. Yeah, and it's, it's such a light uh, car. <laughs> definitely for a little, for a daily, it's uh, a lot. <laughs> so it's got 360 wheel horsepower. Yep. Can you break down the build and where that power is coming yeah, from? Sure. So so tucked behind the engine, I have a custom Pulsar turbo kit. I pieced it together myself. It's a stock manifold, but it's been modified. It has a top mounted external wastegate. All right. Also, I converted all the flanges from the manifold all the way down through the downpipe and the exhaust to V-bands. So this entire setup has no gaskets at all. The only gasket is the manifold to head gasket. It's completely just self-sealing. Whoa, that's pretty wild. Yeah. <laughs> Does that make a difference in power? I wouldn't say so much power, but it's just see, it's so seamless to take it out. If I know exactly what I'm doing and I don't care about making a mess, I could probably get the entire turbo out in as little as like 30 minutes. What? That's insane. So what other like supporting mods and stuff are we looking at down here? So I have a baffled vent cap and it vents excess crankcase pressure and it's really handy to prevent leaks from the crankcase and from like the uh, valve cover gasket. Can't really see it but tucked underneath my headlight I have a radium catch can okay. and I uh, mounted it directly to the same bracket as my horn. I left it in a way where I can still um, open it to empty it really easily. I just take the headlight off and then, then just unscrew the cap on the bottom. And one of my probably my favorite mods on this car is my intake. This is an AirTech RS style intake and AirTech is from the United kingdom so i had to actually import this intake it was a huge hassle it was very difficult to get it here and there was a lot of hurdles to get over why did you want that one so bad um everyone opens their hoods and it's just oh i got you know this intake and it's just like all the whoosh intake or yeah map performance intake and it's like everyone has that but it was worth it yeah just uh it was a bit of a hassle and then when i built this turbo kit i decided to do a hood exit with my uh wastegate that is awesome so just because i wanted to be able to run the dump tube through the cowl without having to cut you know through the hood yeah heck it's, yeah it's, you know it's my daily i don't want to drive through michigan winter and salt and ice and get rust right. on my hood so so over here this is my split second fuel controller it powers my uh port injector i'm running a single port spacer in the past i had a 65 pound injector but i upgraded to a 90 pound injector um, so it's like a thousand cc's. That's a big jump. <laughs> yep. And now I have plenty of fuel on hand. Nice. And then I noticed these sprayers and we may have off camera used them. So <laughs> yeah. tell, tell everybody watching so what's going on down there. This is my custom intercooler sprayer. I made entirely from scratch and it uses quick disconnect fittings and rubber hoses powered by a pump located in my trunk and my reservoir is sitting right on top of that in the trunk. A fully vacuum insulated one gallon bottle <laughs> with a water level gauge. The goal is to try to lower charge temps as much as possible. Did and it work? Does it make quite a difference? From when, when I tested it um, initially, even with just room temperature water, when I would do consecutive pulls, after the first pull, it would hit a certain number and then when I would spray it a little bit and then do a second pull, I actually seen the boost rise slightly. Okay. And it was a very impressive initial results. That's and sweet. my next goal is probably to try to test it, but with ice cold water. Nice. Or even um, blend it with maybe like alcohol to even get it below freezing and get it even colder. I want to see if I can get my charge temps uh, below ambient. That would be really awesome to be able to make good power in the middle of summer when it's really hot. So. <laughs> yeah. Hey there, it's Nick from Max HP. Get ready for some more wild horsepower and adrenaline packed rides as I am posting a brand new video of a different car every single week. So please don't miss out, smash that subscribe button and like the video down below. So I don't see an exhaust sticking out the back. So what are you running for an exhaust? So, you know, most people go with the full exhaust uh -huh. and I was like, I don't want the extra weight. So what I did is I made a open dump uh, exhaust that goes right off my downpipe. Okay. And it's hidden because it's located directly underneath the center of the car. It's Yep, so it's tucked right there. Okay. But one thing I did that was kind of unique is I sourced it from a Focus ST. It's an engine resonator, and I cut it up, fabricated it into this. One issue I ran into is that while I like having it resonated and having it be tame and uh, clean sounding, I still want it loud, you know, when I'm actually like getting on it. So right. I had a 60 millimeter wastegate, and it's powered through my boost lines. That's sweet. And whenever I get above 11 PSI, it's pretty much like straight piped. But then below <laughs> that is tame. My cold 
starts are really on calm. You know, they don't they don't annoy anyone. That's awesome. So off camera, you mentioned there's a story behind your motor mounts. So can uh, you go into that a little bit? Yes. The story with the motor mounts, that was like the first failure point of the car. I used to have just motor mount inserts. Here's my manifold before this one. I used to have a tubular manifold. Okay. Uh, that cracked four times. Holy crap. Um, after realizing I needed to get stiffer mounts, I did 95 A durometer mounts all the way around. Since doing that, it hasn't had any more failures. Nothing else has cracked or broken since. Wow. So. So yeah, get motor mounts. That's like a must have mod for this car if you're building it. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, it's a pretty insane build. Shall we push it to the limits and take it for a spin? Sure. All right, let's go. That sounds awesome. Ready to rock and roll. I'm excited for this thing. All right, you ready? I am ready. But we'll see how it goes because it's very loud. Third gear again. Third gear pull. Well, thanks for doing that. I appreciate it. Yes, thank you so much. 